And now another video from Andy X. I'm, I'm real happy with this light, so I want to show it to the rest of you guys. Now this light retails for $39.99 on Amazon, and I'm going to provide the link in my description box. Uh, but I highly recommend it. Now it has, um, well let me show the light. Here's the base, and it comes up, and then this goes across. Now this part that goes across is about 16 inches or so. It has two rows of really bright white LEDs. This is an LED light. Um, it has uh, 24 LEDs. And then through the middle, it has uh, 13 of the more incandescent colored LED lights. And when you switch between modes, it kind of brightens or dark, uh, darkens or gives, gives you different modes of lighting. And it has a touch screen. Okay, that's in the that's just uh, the center lighting, which gives you the more like an incandescent light. Okay, then you go into partially blue with the incandescent, and then you just go to blue, or or it's not blue, but it's uh, the outer LEDs. Now you can adjust, as I'm going to show you here. That's the brightest version of the settings, and it is wonderful. Uh, I love it. It's uh, it, it lights up the whole work area. It's very bright. It gives you the the white light plus that little bit of uh, tinge of orange from the incandescent type of bulbs, and it gives you a very true to uh, reality type of lighting. When you're painting something, it gives you that. What you see under the lighting is what you're going to see typically. This is a totally an LED light. The brand is Psych Psycho. Uh, there are several brands out there on Amazon, and they range anywhere from about 30, 35 bucks up to the hundred and something dollar range. They're all the same light, guys. They're all made in the same factory, and so I'm I'm. The reason I'm doing this video is to let you know that the Psycho, or Psycho, is the way that's supposedly pronounced. That's the way to go. Now, um, you can fold the slide up out of your way, if you like, and it will stay lit in that stand-up manner. But basically what I do is um, I just leave it like that. It stays like this on my bench. It's very thin. You can put it this way over your, your project or from the side like I have it. And uh, the only problem that I've found with this light is when you do adjust it and mess with it, it'll kick off or whatever. And then when you go to push the button, it won't kick on like it's doing now. I found that it has to reset. Apparently it has like a little chip in it. So what you do is you unplug it, and then plug it back in, and it's back to back to normal. Now I know the camera's probably going to adjust for lighting, uh, but it's it works wonderful. I love this light, absolutely love it. I think for the money, it's well worth it. You can paint miniatures under it. You've got tons of good floodlight. It doesn't uh, alter the um, lighting or the color of what you're painting. It's LED, so it doesn't get hot. Uh, the top is supposed to be aluminum. Here's, a, here's another cool thing about it. It's that you can twist this top. Move it, you can move it way down. You can move it way up. You know, I mean, so it's a little flimsy. As you adjust it, it's got a little bit of wiggle to it, but once it's in position, it stays where it's at. And uh, I just love it. absolutely love this light. This is probably I've been in it, I've been searching for a good light for a long time, and for the money, uh, I think it's well worth it. Uh, just well worth it. But anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later.